Hey, what is going on guys? Diamond here. And today I've got a quite useful plugin for your server. It is so practical, amazing, and it's one of the best useful plugins that you're actually gonna need if you wanna start up your server and, and ma make your server really friendly for other players. And overall, it's a great way to customize your server and make it unique. Since making you know other plugins cost a lot of money, putting commands into GUIs and stuff like that, it making a developer do it costs a lot. So the developer right here, which was kind enough to give three copies away, which you can go into my discord. Just go ahead and click the emoji in the giveaways tab and just go ahead and try to see if you can win because we're doing three whole giveaways for it. So the developer was kind enough. So make sure to go ahead and check out the plugin. It is cheap as well. And overall, it's amazing. So what it is, it's pretty much GUI plus you get to create GUIs inside GUIs inside GUIs. I say that before, but yeah, pretty much the way you can do it here is you don't have to leave the game. That's a amazing because leaving the game and heading over to config seeing all those complex words and names and stuff like that sometimes players just don't get it at all and doing it in game just makes it more practical and not having to reload the server every single time you upload a new config which i'm i don't know it's just amazing the way it is set up so if you guys want go ahead and go ahead and join this discord giveaway it's gonna be happening right now gonna probably in tomorrow so go check it out guys it's worth it all right so gui plus is so simple i'm gonna go ahead and i need to create something so i'm gonna create myself a fly gui so pretty much every time i join the server i'm going to go ahead and i'm gonna fly i'm using it to fly okay so i'm gonna be using these two items right here so for that i'm gonna go ahead and do gui create and i'm gonna create i'm gonna name it pretty much fly so it's been created. This is it right here. Now for this, I am gonna have to remove my texture pack cause it has a transparent background for GUI. So yeah, I just had to move it for now. Now what I'm also gonna do is add some glass because not every single item in a GUI has to be clickable. So right, what I'm gonna do right now is go ahead and do GUI edit fly since I had to close down the GUI. And here it is, simple as that. I love this, this is so simple. Okay, so first thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and pop everything where I want it. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop this here. I'm gonna add a row of glass here, row of glass up here. You pretty much can customize it. Go ahead and customize it first. Then you can actually start the editing, which I love it, so cool. All right, so I added all the customization I wanted and this is how it's gonna look. And now you're thinking, well, this looks quite plain. You really couldn't rename them. It's dull. Well, you can just go ahead and edit it. If, if you want, just go ahead and right click it and this another GUI will pop up. So it tells me it's a feather. I'm gonna change display name. I'm gonna go ahead and add a name for click. Well, I'm gonna put light light. I'll make sure it's bold as well. And there you go. I change this name. I can add a lore. And by that, I had to just click this glass. Pretty much, I can just go ahead add a lore you can add up to six different lores so i'm gonna go ahead and do s7 pretty much making it gray and i'm gonna go ahead and do click to enable the light light mode and there we go like that so pretty much it's all through text as well so here you go click to enable flight i'm gonna go back and I'm gonna go back again. So when I hover over it, there you go. I added a custom name and lore to it. This is amazing. I love this feature. So now the paper, I'm just gonna go ahead and add more lores to it. So first of all, I can change the display name such as more details. So for that, I just want to make this, uh, let's make it purple maybe, probably typed that wrong. So I'm gonna go ahead and change it again. So I gotta just go ahead and edit light again and right click it and just go ahead and change display name because it's not permanent. I'm going to go ahead and, you know, I'll make it a white. There we go. So I added a name. Here we go. More details. And I'm going to add more lures. So for this, I'm going to go ahead and do this is pre this light GUI was created with GUI plus. And I'm going to add another lure. Join the give away for a chance to win a copy. And now I can go back and pretty much that, I'm, I'm done with this so i had my lures here a lure here and the glass i'm gonna leave normal it's not really necessary at the moment and now what i'm gonna do is add a command to it so as you can see here i added the lures but here you can add right click left click and even middle click command so i'm just gonna go ahead and add it for let's go for left click and right click i'm gonna do add command and i'm gonna add commands fly you don't have to add any slash do not add any slash i'm just saying and you can add even up to two commands so that's amazing so i'm gonna go ahead and do a right click as well i'm gonna add the same command so slash fly and there you go and for the middle click i'm just gonna do slash kill kill diamond rush xd 
And there we go. So I, I put the command to kill myself. Don't really recommend doing that. So yeah, I'm just saying. And there we go. That's pretty much everything right there. And I'm gonna go ahead back. And here you can even change the title. So right now it's fly. So you can change the name of the whole UI if you want. You can change the title name. So I'm gonna go and name it flight. So it won't show here, but when you open it, it open it up, it will show. You can change its size. I actually like the size, so I customize it to that correctly. You can change the permission and you can even add a command to it. So I'm gonna do command flight and there we go. So I added that. So if I do slash flight, it will open up the GUI. So that's my own custom command just for it, which is amazing. I love that feature. It just makes this a whole lot better. And for the price that you're doing this for, it is what it is much better than going out and asking a developer to make it for you. All right, so now we just gotta test it out. So I'm gonna do slash flight and there we go. So now I can do is click it and my flight has been disabled. Click it again, my flight has been enabled. So it can turn on and off because that is an essential command by just doing like so pretty much as you can see. And I'm just gonna go ahead and do flight again. And this won't do anything or none of these. You can't make, pick them up, throw them away or anything like that. So it works. And I'm gonna go ahead and do a right click as well. Play enable, play disabled. You can't really see it, but trust me, it is working. And I'm gonna do the middle click and that killed me. It works perfectly like the way it is intended to. All right, so here we go. I'm gonna show you guys a bit more as well. So I actually created a few others. So as you can see here, I can add a lot more such as a lot, anything you really want. Connect another GUI to the same GUI, which works amazingly. So this is just a few examples of what you actually can do or not. And overall, it's just really amazing what you can do with this GUI. I love it so much and I really do recommend you guys check it out because overall, this is exactly what you need to start your own server right now. So there you go, guys. That was the whole plugin right there. Hope you guys have enjoyed. If you guys have, never smacked like button down below. And if you guys want to see another video, make sure to check out my channel. There's a ton of them. And overall, make sure to join the giveaway. And I'm Diamond and I'll see you guys next time. Cheers.